Hey y'all, Farmer Dre here. Well, obviously I'm not here because you can't see me because you're seeing a picture of a beautiful tomato plant. And the reason is, I forgot to film an intro. Wah, wah, wah. I mean, who forgets to film an intro? Anyways, in today's video, we are staking our tomato plants, so you guys stay tuned. <laughs> Meet the worst gift stick driver here, Mr. Isaac. so we bring this crate here it's full of our t posts and the wooden posts and last year i spaced the this post every five tomato plants but i didn't really enjoy that because whenever the plants got heavy in june you know late may first of july uh first of june i'm getting my months all confused here because if you calculate 20 pounds of tomatoes times five plants that was 100 pounds of green tomatoes between two t posts and it was just too much weight and it was dragging them down. And then, and then whenever we came through to pick them, then it was a pain because we had to get on our knees. So this year what I'm doing is I am putting a metal post, a T-post at the end. Every three plants, we're going to put a metal, uh, a wood post. So I mean, it's going to be metal post, three plants, wood post, three plants, metal post. And space out the wood, the metal post every six plants. But in between that, put a wood post, a, a tomato steak. To kind of to, to, to trying to keep that those tomatoes off the ground and up higher and elevated. So Isaac is over here carrying in the post. I'm gonna get the post driver and start beating the the post in, and then we're gonna go ahead and show you guys exactly how to stake the tomato plants. So it goes pretty smooth once you get started here. I had Val help me out and he was just cutting the fabric and putting in the post slightly. I was coming through and beating in the post and I actually had to help him load up. He's going to um, go into another high tunnel. So I'm solo here. Isaac finished bringing in all the posts. So, you know, whenever everybody else leaves you, you just got to do stuff on your own. Hey, that's all right. Not a big deal. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and continue beating all the posts in and start stringing them. Like I mentioned in my previous videos, and you guys know, you know, once you start stringing them, it is a piece of cake. You know, just keep going, 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 so it's super fast. Alrighty, so Adrian is still working down there. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys exactly how we stake them with the twine. So we just got a two foot piece of PVC. I mean, I don't know what's exact same measurement. I just, you know, whatever is good in your reach is a PVC pipe. And what you do here is you got a box of tomato twine. You find, we find it real cheap. I mean, it comes with the high tunnels whenever we buy them or any of your garden supplies you carry them. And then all you do is just shove this string through there. If I can, maybe. Life difficulties here, buddy. So there's a bunch of junk in there. The reason is it stayed in the greenhouse all winter long and all summer. So, anyways, we'll go ahead and retry this again. Try not to have as many life problems anymore. 
There we go. Look how smooth that is going. Alrighty, so then you have the PVC pipe with the string through it. And I'm right handed, so I'm gonna go ahead and move on this side. And whenever you put your first string, make sure your posts are tied in nicely and beat in into the ground. So what I just do here, I just go ahead and tie a knot here about plant level. So I'm just gonna go ahead and tie a double knot here, something that doesn't wanna come undone, maybe a square knot or something. It doesn't, the, the knot doesn't really matter. Just make sure it's nice and tight. So the point of this box here is I am holding the string here tightly and I don't have to stay bent over. And then I adjust the, the strength by here. So then I'm gonna go ahead and walk through here just like this. Come to the next plant, turn it around the bottom, just like that. Pull it tight with this hand. So I'm pulling tight with both hands, come around here, and I only go around there once, and then make sure it's nice and tight, and then keep, just keep it coming like that. It's a very simple process, just like that. And it goes pretty quick, generally, if you don't have too many problems. And it's nice to have the plant at the same height, because if you have shorter plants, then it, it kind of messes it up. But just like this, real fast, real easy, not too bad. So now we're almost at the end of the row here. And at the end row, this is a pretty simple. All you gotta do is, I just come around here twice. Come around the post twice there, make sure it's nice and tight. And then you just kind of come back the same way and sandwich that tomato plant between the two strings. And you want to make sure the tomato plants are in between both of the strings, just like that. Kind of go lower there. So now we are back at the end of this row. Make sure you, at the end of the row, make sure your string. Your PVC pipe is still through. The string is through, still through the PVC pipe. I like to get my fancy knife here, cut about a foot. You can just leave a cord. And I come through, you know, two or three times, up and down, and just kind of knot it off, make sure it doesn't come undone. Alrighty, so now, as you guys can see here, the post, and we're just gonna go ahead and, you know, make the make sure the plant is in here. And you can come through and readjust these, but I, I usually don't. And now if the plant keeps growing, we're just going to come through and put in more and more strings. And the taller the plant gets, the more strings we get. And that's about it. I mean, it's not too bad. This is called the Florida Weave Method. Or that's just uh, rope and stake. I mean, there's not much. You know, there's, there's many different ways. I've heard other farmers call it different ways. I just, I call it the way to stake determinate tomatoes. Because all the determinate tomato, tomatoes, plant, tomato plants I've seen have been done with this system. So... Yeah, pretty simple process, up and down. I know a lot of field tomatoes out in Florida and stuff are grown like this, but you know, it's the best way to grow uh, for us in the high tunnel. So, you know, we up and down the road, takes you know, a few minutes. So we just got done staking the tomatoes. They're all staked now, super simple. Got it done. And now it is about, let me check here real quick. It's 7.15. The time has changed, so it's, we have an hour more to work in the evenings. So we get a lot more stuff done, but now I'm gonna go ahead and start the wood stove, get it going for the night, and we will continue. Uh, I gotta continue waking up. You know, we're supposed to get down to 37 times. I'm gonna go ahead and work, wake up a few more times. And you know, the temperatures are warming up. You know, the, <clears throat> the average has been, you know, in the 40s lately. 
So, you know, pretty soon the apple trees will start coming out of dormancy. The tomatoes will bloom up and uh, start growing nicely. So, it's just trying to get it done and one day at a time. So, what we're using to start the fire is just these little pine strips. We you know we there's a lot of sawmills in our area and this comes from a hardwood floor place. They make hardwood floor and they're just the extra strips and stuff that they don't, they just trash out. So they just put them in a big bundle. We come pick them up and then throw them in the fire here. And what I do is get an old apple box and throw a bunch of the wood on top there and just light it on fire. And will those get burning real fast? Then I come through and throw the logs on top. Alrighty y'all, this is gonna be pretty much it for today. We got the tomato staked, the fire is a rolling back there. And uh, now I gotta wake up a few times, but it is what it is, not too bad. But this is gonna be pretty much it for today. If you guys haven't already, go ahead, hit that subscribe and go smash that like button if you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to hit that notification icon so you guys can be notified whenever I do upload a video. If you guys like these for real farmer hats, go ahead and check them out. There's a link down in the description box below or head over to realfarmerdre.com. I want to say thanks for watching up to this point. You guys have a good day, and we will see you next time.